Eric, what'd you take from uh, your two games facing Cam Newton last year? The two games, every time we play him, he brings all the energy. He brings it for both sides because he gets us pissed off, and obviously that gets us going, and then obviously energy for his team. So every time we play him, it's always fun. You know, he's you know one of the most competitive quarterbacks I think. You know, at least I when I play against him, you know that I've been against uh, in a sense of. You know, he's he's talking crap to everybody, linebackers, DB, D-line. It don't matter. He's on the sideline talking crap. So, I mean, I like that. So, every time we play him, you know, I always look forward to it. That's pretty rare for most quarterbacks don't talk. Right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Most quarterbacks don't talk. You know, only one that know, like him, I know Phillip Rivers did. Uh, <laughs> uh, but usually everybody else, you know, they kind of just stay to themselves. First, uh, before the opener, about a couple weeks before the opener, you found out you weren't going to face him there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, the opener, I mean, that shocked all of us. You know, we're, we're getting prepared for him because we know when he's in the game, you know, offenses can change, you know, a good amount. Uh, so, and then now, you know, now we're, you know, mid season or a little bit over mid season, now we're playing him again. So, uh, so we got to prepare for quarterback runs, you know, quarterback powers, you know, that's his strength. So we got to get ready for that all of a sudden now. Is there a particular instance when he uh, pissed you off? Not, <laughs> not a particular instance. I, I do remember it was my rookie year. I was on the Eagles, and we played at Carolina. It was like 2015. I remember he, I think he, he didn't run over a DB, but the, I can't remember who it was, but he hit him, and he said, you too small. And this is my rookie year, right? So I'm like. I'm like, oh man, and he was, you know, came with a big guy, and I was like, oh man, I ain't never seen a quarterback just, you know, just come at somebody, you know, you're too small. I'm like, oh shoot, like, all right, he's a real deal. You say you like that? Does yeah. It give you, does it give you? Yeah, yeah. An extra edge to you? Yeah, you know how it gets your juices going. You like, you like, nah, like, you know, f you, like, you know, then you get going, like, <laughs> I mean, you know, it's part of the game. And at the same time. <laughs> You want to do your best not to get run over by this guy. <laughs> and sure. yeah, then once you get mad, then you just want to smack him and, you know, brings out the most competitive in you. Eric, I think we're all happy to see Vince Beagle back in the room. Beagle, yeah. Uh, what, what, what do you recall about what he brings to the defensive group, when, you know, when he's been out there? Yeah, when, when Beagle's out there, because uh, I've been with since 19, you know, it's consistent energy, practice and game. It don't matter. You know, he, he's out there communicating, he's talking, and when he makes a play, like, you know it, uh, you know, and it's good to see him back out there. You know, he, I seen him, you know, get hurt, come back, get hurt again, work hard. I seen him through rehab, and, you know, and then to, to know he got signed again, you know, to the active, that, that's a great thing for him. Show!